Hi there. So here I'm going to show you um, how to draw a curved frame uh, using some of Top Solid's basic features and um, showing you some of its parametric capabilities. So what I'm drawing for you here at the moment is just uh, a, an arc with two curves and I used the arc blend function to achieve this. Here I'm just going to dimension uh, the overall size of this frame. So this is 1100 and I'm going to make this about 2300. So it's just underneath a 24 by 12 uh, panel. So next what I'm going to do is I've got my guide curve. Now I want to draw uh, one of the ribs that will be propagated along this curve. I just use my sketch mode and use my automatic dimension. And I'm going to use a parameter here and I'm going to call it T. And T stands for thickness. So it's going to be an 18 mil thick panel. And here I'm going to make up a parameter on the fly again and just make this W. And this W stands for the width. So now I'm going to use some of the nice features in sketch mode, the constraints, to coincide the corners of this panel along the guide curve. So it's going to be nice and smooth along there when it gets propagated. Okay, here I'm just changing my color and layer because I want to make an overall volume for this frame to sit inside. I'm going to use a feature here called Thicken and this will automatically create my lines for me for the overall size. And I've used the same parameter as the width of the panel as well, which was W or 100. So I'm going to extrude it up. I'm going to make up another parameter, H equals 900. And next what I need to do is actually physically draw the top and bottom panels. Now to do this, I use a command in here called constrain block. And I'm going to give it a thickness of T. I'm going to use automatic and all I simply do is click the top and bottom of this volume and all I'm doing is just clicking on the faces very easy to do and just like that it's drawn next what I need to do is draw the vertical member ie the rib now I don't want the rib to go the full height so I'm just going to go two trims between the top of the bottom and the bottom of the top simple so now we can see the frame is starting to take some shape. That's why that volume is there. The parts are stuck to the faces of the volume, which is great because there's that associativity there that if I decide to change anything, all the parts will change too. So what I'm doing here now is I'm just propagating that rib along that guide curve. Here I'm simply going to make a parameter number of ribs equals 12. First reference point second and boom. Top Solid has calculated all the correct positions for those 12 ribs along this curve. It doesn't get any easier than that. So the panels you see here just isn't enough. I want to actually drill some holes and put some screws in here. So I go to my screw function. I pick the type of screw I want. I pick the top and the top of this rib and it starts from here to the other side. And then I go, OK, it knows how many screws I need in this distance. And I'm also going to do the same for the bottom. I just pick my faces and it starts between here and finishes there. Brilliant. OK, now what I want to do is tell these screws to follow the same propagation as the rib. So I pick that screw and I just simply click on the rib. And again, Top Solid does all the hard work and put the screws in. I'm going to do that again on the top just so you see it. So we click modify, we click on our screw, just get this in position, click on any one of the ribs and just like that all our screws are put in along the length. And I can just turn off the layer and you can see the holes have been positioned in the same place as the screws are. Cool. So that was pretty easy to draw. Now imagine you had to make a change to the length of this. That would be pretty tricky, right? Not with Top Solid. You click Modify, you change the length of it, and voila, it just adapts and changes to whatever measurement you give it, within reason, obviously. 
Now you've made it longer, what about if you wanted to change the number of ribs? So remember earlier I made this parameter NOR, number of ribs. How about we increase it to 25? Bang. It's added in more screws, more ribs, and hasn't jeopardized the overall shape. Okay, how about we really push this parametric capability? What about the thickness of these panels? How about I change it to 25 mil? Easy. It changes, moves the screw positions, and again does not jeopardize the overall size of the project. How cool is that? This is what true parametrics are, and this is what Top Solid is capable of. So if you need to make any design changes at any stage of the drawing, then this is the right software for you. So here I'm just changing the overall width and I'm just going to bump it up to about 450 and watch it adds another screw in the center. This is because I've predefined sizes for my screw construction in the setup before I started Top Solid. It's very easy to do. But I'm just going to change this back to maybe 1200 and just watch. It simply updates and keeps its associativity. So if you're actually designing or modeling something and you're not quite sure how it goes together, you can use Top Solid to figure all this out. So as you can see, it's very powerful and has a lot of potential in a lot of different areas for the woodworking market. Next, what I want to do here is I'm just going to turn off the layer that holds all the panels. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy the face of this volume. And these are going to be my curved or craft form panels on the front of this frame. So again, all you're doing is you're simply clicking on the faces and I'm using a feature here. I'll just turn off this layer. I'm going to use this feature called thicken. I enter maybe 12 mil for the craft form and then enter and see it just sort of thickens that face and creates it for you. And that's it. You're done. So from this video, you can see that Top Solid is a very powerful product in its design and setting out whatever you need to manufacture. So if you like the look of this and you want to see a bit more, head on over to our website or check out some more videos on this YouTube page. Thanks. Bye.